like it. Right. Verse 20. Thou sittest and speak against thy own thy brother. And who's Esau's brother, man? Jacob and Israel, the people of the tribe. We are your brothers. We came up with the same father. We are the same father, man. We just are at birth. The Heavenly Father separated us, made us two different nations. Okay, go ahead. Thy slander is thy own mother's son. Their slander is their own mother's son. So now you can see now they're gonna slander us now. And right now, the men, the men that have been woken up, man, we are the heads of Israel now, man. We are those that have been raised up first. Okay? Because when the kingdom is ushered, ushered in, we are the ones that are gonna rule first. So as much as Esau's elites, Esau's heads, they are over there, man, uh, the, 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 the banking families, we are the heads, heads of Esau, of Jacob, man. But just right now, we are, still, we are, we are, uh, we are on the low level, man. We are poor. We don't have a kingdom yet. We still subject to payments. We still subject to Jesus' payments. Okay. They encourage themselves in evil matter. They commune of laying stairs privily. They say, who shall see them? Who shall see them? Go ahead. Verse 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Man. So they have studied. The very fact that they know the chip, the, the, bit, the, the part of your body which they have chosen on the chip, they have spent a lot of money to study that part of the body. Man. They have spent a lot of money to study where they can put the chip in your brain. What kind of material can they put in your head that will not cause how the brain works. That, uh, that presentation that that guy gave uh, concerning uh, uh, concerning uh, the, the chip in the forehead, Elon Musk. He told you, he told you, it was this, this from uh, hundred and hundred. He told you from, from hundred about hundred years worth of research. They've been doing this um, from the time of World War. There was something called Tavistock Agenda. If you look up the word Sigmund Freud, he would actually um, go into the psychological effects, you know, yeah, yeah. how people would act when they're traumatized. Yeah, yeah. And guess what they would use? Fear, shock, traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. So when people have a traumatic stress disorder, they'll do anything. It's like, the, they, because you know, people fear death, people fear to go hunger, especially, especially now when you see people like, They've not, they've, not, they've not really seen and the only thing they've heard is somebody's got hit by a car on the news. Wow. They've never really sat in their house and thought, oh shit, death is coming to us. Okay? They've never heard bombs uh, blowing up close by me. Like, you know, people like in Iraq, they are underneath, every time they hear an explosion somewhere, that shit can explode right next to your house. These people here, they've never, seen, they've never really seen anything like, like that. Man. They've not seen death, they've never jumped over dead bodies. Man. That's why when they panic, they, they really panic, man. Because men and women screaming for their lives. You see? You see? This is Ecclesiasticus 11 and 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. <laughs> see? And this people right now, they are ease, they prosper, they can pretty much, even the average, the, the middle class ones, they, they can still have anything they want. They can eat, they can, they can, they can buy a decent car, they want a place they can get one, a bigger TV, they can get one. Okay? So these people, they, they forgot about uh, what's the word? Affliction, man. They don't know what it's like to be afflicted. None of them know what it's like to go a day without food, man. Okay? None of them don't know what it's like man, to wake up in the morning and wonder where the, your next meal is going to come from. They don't know. So they've all forgot about affliction, man. They've all forgot, man, about, about, about pain and hunger, man. About the fear of death. Alright, go ahead. And in the day of affliction. So that is the time that's coming now. Now a day of affliction is coming now. Go ahead. There is no more. 
remembrance of prosperity. Now like they, they're, they're gonna forget. Now all they all they they're gonna they're, they're, they're gonna forget. What is, they're gonna forget how it feels like to wake up in the morning with a big fat breakfast waiting for you. Man. And go to bed in those nice cozy uh, covers, you know, yeah. Who the fuck? In, in one, one, one minute, one hour of, of, of affliction. Instant. Forget about all that. Instant. All that joy you had. Everything you've done. All the good times you had. You know? Just like in the Twin Towers. They were trading on the stock market. They were having fun. There was restaurants. And what happened? In one hour, they were thinking how they can save their lives.
at the time where everything can be shut down now. Okay. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. It was instant. Instant. They were chilling, relaxing, and then boom, it came. Man. Verse 3. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Even thus, so it shall be in these days as well, man, when the Son of Man shall be revealed. When the Lord comes back. Because remember what, what the Lord always says, man. He comes at the thick of night. Alright? Uh, huh? The time, the time to build yourself up, the time to show your faith towards the Lord, the time to do everything possible. Because what you want to do is, you want to do everything possible so that when that time comes, the Lord finds you worthy to, to save you, man. You and your family, your household, okay? The salvation of your family relies on you taking this thing serious, man. Okay? If you love your family, this is how you show love for you. Even though, even if, even if they don't see it. If your family don't see it, it's for you see it. And you can see you love them so it's for their benefit, so you carry on, man. This is Thessalonians 5 and 1. Both the times and the seasons. Brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because you know man. You understand, you can see the sign. You can see everything else spoken about the scriptures, man. Uh, manifested now. You can see all the signs that the Lord has just brought out for manifested now. Okay? Luke 21, Matthew 24, I believe it's Matthew 18. You can see all those things happening right now, man. Those are the things the Lord said to watch out for. Israel being raised up now. Okay, the nations going to war. That close to the mark of the priest, being paid money to the people. We are seeing all of these workers, we are watching them. Right. Verse 2 For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. <laughs> Verse 3 For when they shall say, Peace and safety, when sudden destruction cometh upon them as to fall upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You see, when they shall say, Peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come upon them. <laughs> When a woman is pregnant, after nine months, she knows the child is true. But she doesn't know when the child is going to come out. Right now, we're in the ninth month. That child is due. The waters are bursting. You know? One day, you wake up and you find the waters are bursting. Oh shit, it's time now. The child is coming now. And when the waters burst, that child is coming, man. You can't hold, them. You can't hold, you can't hold it back. When destruction destruction comes, it's coming, man. You will not be able to hold it back, man. The home is stopping it. It's coming, man. Okay? Martial law is coming. The chief is coming. World War III is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. You will not be held back. Okay?
Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai came unto me, saying, Verse 9, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Say a sword, a sword, a sword is sharp. What's the example of that, man? You still getting ready for martial law? Okay. Constitution comes in. Okay. You go uh, the nuclear missiles. But you go the sword that's coming among the people, man. Alright? So some of you are gonna be slain by starvation. All those things are coming upon you, man. They're coming upon the people, man. So that's that short that's that sword being sharpened, being being made ready. Okay, go ahead. The sword is sharpened and is burnished. Verse 10, it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It's sharpened to make a sword slaughter, man. Why? Because a lot of people are gonna die in this week that are coming next. Okay? A lot of people are gonna be caught up in this week that are coming next. Okay? Right. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? No. It's contaminated. The Lord of my son has every tree. Verse 10. It is sharpened to make us all slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? That's the prophet asking you now. Now that you are seeing that all these things are coming, death and destruction is coming, should you make mirth? Should you be turning up? You know? Should you like, so right now, if you see those things are coming, what should you be doing, man? Getting yourself right to the Heavenly Father, man. Because He's the only one that's going to be able to save you in these times that are coming. Right. Okay? So that's your main focus now, man. Getting yourself ready with the Heavenly Father. So when these things come now, you already trusted in the, in the Lord before. When these things come, uh, since you're here, you can also have to as well. Yeah? Uh, Revelation uh, 3, 3 and 10. Okay. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. Verse 11. And he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished. Give it to the hand of the slayer. And who's the hand of the slayer now? Okay. Oh, yeah. Who was given the sword as a blessing? Okay. So the, the, the slayer is coming now for you. Somebody get a wicked video of people. Where is it? Three. 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 Hashem Yahushai have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You hear that? Even the wicked for the day of evil. Who's the wicked? Esau. Okay, so that can find one more piece of Shall we go forth 
Then though, shall tell him, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shom, Yahweh such as are for death. This is the, this is the Lord appointing, appointing destruction for you, for you, for you to face of Jacob. Those that won't take you to his birth. Such are for death. To death. Uh -huh. Such are for the sword. To the sword. Yeah, that's such as for death to death. Those that are going to get killed by the sword, by modern, the modern day sword, you're going to get killed by the modern day sword. That's right. Go ahead. And such are for, for, for the famine. To the famine. Those that are going to get killed by starvation, you're going to get killed by starvation. Okay, is there more? And such are for the captivity. To the captivity. Those of you that are going to go into the concentration camps, martial law, the time of martial law, you're going to go into the concentration camps there. Man. You're going to get chipped. You're going to get your own. And I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord, Jehovah, my Shem, Yahushai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth, to devour and to destroy. See that? The Lord will appoint all manner, all manner of evil deaths upon you, man. Okay? Some of you are going to get killed by the military. Some of you are going to get eaten up by wild animals. Okay? Some of you are going to go into the concentration camps, get your heads chopped off, get chipped, and so on and so forth, man. Some of you are going to die by a way of the nuclear missiles. Okay. Right. So, Revelation 14 and 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest, nor day or night. We worship the beast and his image, and whoever receiveth the mark of his name. Okay. Those of you that are going to receive the chip, man, a lot of you are going to die by way of those nuclear missiles. You, you just going to, before the fire even gets to you, man, because that heat is so, so, far, so bad. It's going to melt you before it even hits you. You, you, it, like you, you know when you open the oven, you put something, you open the oven, and that heat comes and hits your face? That's what's going to happen to you, man. You see the missile far away, but there's no way you're going to run, man. Even, even on a fighter jet or a plane, you can't escape that. So a lot of you are going to die in it, man. With that nuclear missile, man. Okay? So anyway, uh, let's go. We might as well go into that topic. Uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Yeah. 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 This is Isaiah 54, 16. Revelation 11, 14, I think. The last one, the last one, Revelation 11. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. See, the Lord has created the smith that blows the coals in the fire. The ancient smiths, what did they do? They created our weaponaries. All manner of swords, all manner of weapons that men use, that put axes, uh, different different versions of swords, depending on you know, depending on uh, what type of weapon you prefer to take into battle. That's what the smiths were for in the ancient times. Go ahead, you know. That blow of the coals in the fire, and that bring you forth an instrument for his work. But today, the Lord has created a, a different kind of smith. You're more than the scientist. That bring it from the what? An instrument for his work. Uh -huh. And I've created the waste up to destroy. That's the that's the work that's that is the, the modern the, the smith are gonna bring about man. The waste that to destroy. Okay? So you got your modern the scientists that have created all these nuclear missiles. That that's what I'm Shoot each 
other until whoever has left is left. It was now a new way of fighting began at that time. They are, they are, they, they, they are, they, they are, it, it, it opened up now the race to create the, the bigger, bigger and badder uh, missiles, man. nuclear destruction now. America was leading the charts, obviously, because they, they created the, the first one, but now other, other countries now, they, they, just, they were like, okay, this, this is how it's going to be done now, you see? So that was the new way of fighting now. I get like Isaiah 9 and 5, I believe, or 5 and 9. I always get the cool thing mixed up. So that became a new way of fighting wars now. Nuclear destruction. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments, and garments rolled in blood. All the ancient battles, they were all. You had one group this side, you had another group that side. They all, they all ran making noise and they start chopping limbs off of each other, stabbing, going arrows and everything. Okay? By that, after the battle, if you came from war and you're out to scream, man, you must have hit somewhere, man. you're not fighting. Man. You know? So everybody, when you came from home and you're completely covered up in blood, man, from your face to your clothes, your shoes, your hands, because you are chopping limbs off, man. That's what they fought in the ancient world. You know? But it says what, God? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this one shall be with burning and fuel of fire, man. So this new battle that's coming is not going to be like the ancient battles, man. Okay? This new battle is not gonna be like an ancient battle. Man. This one is, this one is gonna be with fire now. Okay, nuclear missiles, man. All right. Just the third, the third war coming quick. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's what we get as well. Man. We get that one. He's getting five to get. This is Revelation. The second row is passed, and behold, the third row coming quickly. You see that the second row is passed, and behold, the third row coming, coming quickly. At the end of World War II, when that war ended, all the nations, the, the first thing they wanted to do was to prepare for World War III. All, all every major nation, the first, their biggest budget became uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the military. Okay in the creation of weapons. It was the from, from that time, that's what uh, 1940, 45 or something like that. After that, after the war ended, the first thing they started doing was to prepare for the next war. Because after after uh, after German was defeated, no nation wanted no one wanted to be left to be caught, caught, caught off guard. When America dropped the two bombs on Japan, no nation stood back and say all the nations that, that was, was in their power to do so, that's the first thing they want to do was to create men, to create a, a weapon to match to what uh, what the Americans had. Someone get that in the world in the chapter, in the week's end. Check it out. Revelation 19, 19. The order, Joel, let the week's end. What does it get? Jeremiah 50 and 25. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. He says the Lord has opened, has, opened, has opened his armory and brought forth the weapons of his indignation. The ways that to destroy me. Because all these things is all in the plans of the Heavenly Father. Man. That's why the Lord has allowed these nations from the period at the end of Hong Kong. Pretty much the, the top nations have had peace all the way until now. None of them have fired a missile at each other until now. Until when the time comes. Okay. Until when the time comes now, when the Lord is going to allow these nations now to let loose on each other now. To destroy each other. Okay. So 
all this time, that's why you can see it's always our proxy wars. Like for example, proxy war is our uh, when uh, America is backing up uh, America is backing up Israel and Russia is backing up Iran. A proxy war is instead of America and Ra instead of America and Russia fighting, they have Israel and Iran fighting on their behalf. America is fighting Israel and Russia is fighting Iran. That's a proxy war. So we've been at war already, but it's been proxy wars. Uh, in Syria, there was China and Russia, they were back in uh, the place of Syria, what's the name? Assad. Assad. In Syria, the war in Syria, Russia, China, and other nations were backing up the president of Syria, while America, Britain, they were backing up the rebels. So it was not a direct conflict, but it was a conflict. It was still war, but you were supplying people to this group, while the other one supplying people to the other group. So that's what's been going on for a long time, nothing but proxy wars. But now, eventually, now, let's get this second so now the time is coming now when the Lord is going to allow all these all these the top nations now to fight against each other. Man. And they know, they know if they fight, they all say, man, if Russia and America goes to war, the, the World War IV is going to be fought with sticks and stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that war is going to leave nothing but destruction. Man. Right. Okay, and you finish another one? Read again. And if you notice, when this is no, the third war coming through. It doesn't say there's going to be a fourth war, a fourth war, or a fifth war. It says the third war, and that's it. And that's the last war ever to be fought on Earth. Yeah. That's going to be the last of all wars. So that that so that day goes hand in hand. You see? You see? Because it's the war to end all wars. Man. Because after that war, then the kingdom is going to be broken now. Because that's how the Lord is going to destroy all these heathens, man. All their rulership, Esau and the other nations, all their rulership. This is Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Verse 10. And this is what the Lord says, prepare a war, man. Okay? So these other nations at this moment of time, and they've been preparing for war. For years, they've been, they've been perfected, perfected over and over again. They, keep, they have treaties now, said, okay, they, because they understood that the weapons that they have will, will pretty much, they put enough weapons to pretty much destroy the whole planet Earth. So basically now they, they, put, uh, they put a treaty in place saying we're not going to make this type of weapons and we're not going to make this type of weapons. But what happened now when Donald Trump came in power? Donald Trump said, you know what is it? That, those, uh, those treaties are not fair on us, so they tear them in place. And what's the first thing that they did? They went back now and created the weapons that they were not supposed to create them. Which shows you, somebody get Isaiah 13. Uh, you want that one? Yes. Right. Uh, this is um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse um, 22. The sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Okay, great destruction, right? How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Right, so it says, the sign of battle is in the land of, and of great destruction. Right? Now if you check wars fought before, 